Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codes Arcade. In today's section, we will be learning about a new topic which is the elements of user defined functions. Before starting the video, I would like to request you people to please like and share our videos if you like them. And also subscribe to our channel Codes Arcade and press the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates and you do not miss out on our future video uploads. Thank you. So let's get started. As I said, today's topic is elements of user defined functions. So in the previous section, I have already told you about functions, structured programming, unstructured programming. In this section, let us start with the elements of user defined functions. How to declare the function, how to define the function and how to call the function. So let us start with all the elements of the user defined functions. So the first element of user defined functions is the function declaration. The second element is the function definition. And the third element is the function call. Let us look at them one by one. The first one is function declaration or it is also known as function prototype. It means that the function actually needs to be declared before calling that function. Without the function declaration, we cannot call the function. So the function declaration part, it actually consists of four parts. The four parts are return type, function name, parameter list with the data types, and finally the terminating semicolon. Let us look at the syntax of the function declaration. The syntax is return type then followed by the function name and inside the parenthesis we have the parameter list with the data type and finally followed by the semicolon. For example, int subtract in the parenthesis we have the parameters int a comma int b. It can be more or it can be less also. Now let us move on to the second element which is the function definition. Function definition is the actual code for the function with the help of which we can perform the specific task. So what is the need of the function definition? Let us look at that. The need of the function definition is that it provides the actual body of the function. Without the function definition, the function won't work. So we have to provide the definition of the function. It is actually the body of the function. It contains the entire logic. The second one is it contains executable code. That means it has certain executable statements with the help of which we can define the function or how to perform that specific task. So here in the function definition, the first line is called the function header. The next very important point to remember here is that the function header should be identical to function prototype but it should be without any semicolon. So you have to remember this point. The next point or the final point in function definition is arguments or parameters the names that are provided to them have to be specified here with its data type in the function definition. So this was about the function definition. Now let us see a simple example so that I can explain more about the function definition with the syntax and example. So the syntax is, as I told earlier, return type followed by the function name and then inside the parenthesis, we will have the parameter list with data type. And inside the curly braces, we will be having the local variable declaration and then we will be having the statements like statement one, statement two, and it will go on till n number of statements and finally we will have the return statement because the function will return a value right that's why we will have the return statement so that we can return the task or the value or the work that it is performing to our other functions or maybe the calling function so as you know the syntax let us move on to one example so as you can see in the screen int diff and then in the parenthesis we will have Let's say two variables so that I can do the subtraction between the two. So int of a and int of b. These are of the integer data type. So these are the parameter lists, including the data type. The data type here is int. 
and inside the curly braces i have int diff then diff is equal to a minus b and then finally we will be returning the difference so return difference d i double f the variable name can be anything as i already told you it depends on the wish of every user it will vary from person to person so this is an example of how to define a function simple example we have taken so that i can show you the subtraction of two variables a and b now let us once again recall all the parts of the function definition so as you can see in the screen this is int difference and inside the parenthesis we have int a comma int b and then int diff so diff here is the local declaration so we are declaring a variable which is of the integer data type in order to store the difference of the two variables so now let us write the exact logic or the formula for the difference so diff is equal to a minus b and you should always remember that every statement should end with a semicolon and finally we will return the difference or the value so return diff you can provide a parenthesis or you may not provide a parenthesis it's up to you but you have to end it with a semicolon so now this diff equal to a minus b will be the statement there can be n number of statements depending on our requirement and this return diff is the return statement and as you can see inside the int diff parenthesis these are the parameter list and these are also known as the formal parameters which are a and b now the diff which has been written here is actually the name of the function that's why it is function name and the int here is actually as the type returned by this function the return type in our case is integer it can be float or any other it can be character also so this is all about the parts in function definition i hope you understood now let us move on to the third element which is function call so only by defining a function is not enough to perform the task in order to use the function it needs to be called so that's why function call is necessary a function can be called by specifying its function name followed by a list of parameters enclosed in parentheses and separated by commas as i showed in the earlier section so you have to write the name of the function followed by parentheses in this way you can call the function the syntax is function name in the bracket parameter list for example diff a comma b followed by the semicolon so this is how you can call a function difference or diff which we have defined earlier so this is a function call diff is the function name and a and b are the parameters so in the earlier sections you have already seen some examples using functions so i just wanted to give you a summary of the elements of user defined functions so what did we learn today we learned about the three elements of user defined functions those were function declaration function definition and the function call so i hope you have understood thanks for watching see you in our next video happy learning